Some people like to rinse this off. You really don't have to. Oh, so awesome. Look at that. Let's feed some big fish. Hey, I would like to have some more. That scared the crap out of me. I need some ideas. Drop me some comments down below. We can definitely get some fish in here. What fish should we house with them? What's up, Billings fam? Welcome back. We got a couple of special guests here. We got Crusher and Daisy. If any of you have been around since the beginning, or at least for a while now, you'll remember where we got these guys. If you have not been around since then, make sure you go check that video out because it was absolutely amazing. What a crazy day. We have since found out that they are uh, Peninsula Cooters. Um, and as you can see, one of them is much larger than the other. Like it's not even close, like two times the size. We believe that that is Daisy. We believe the females usually get larger, so we think that's Daisy and this is Crusher. Um, but they're doing awesome, guys. They have since been in a couple of different enclosures that we've had. Their original one was temporary, and we put them in another large one that ended up breaking, unfortunately. And since then, they've been in a 30-gallon doing great, but we want to give them more space to continue to grow. So we are going to repurpose the 40-gallon, and we're going to make this thing look gorgeous for these little guys. So we are gonna put some new sand in there, more rocks to have a higher basking station so that we can fill it with deeper water so they can really start to swim around. But let me show you these guys. I mean, they are just gorgeous, love them. They are huge, huge uh, family favorites here. The kids love them, Grayson named them. They are just awesome. Guys, if you have been around and you remember that video, comment down below, let me know. I, I can't wait. Guys, as always, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. We got really cool things coming out. After this, we're gonna keep going with the educational videos. But in the meantime, we got a tank to finish cleaning out. So, you see me rolling, they hating. <laughs> all right, so we are here with our 40 gallon. If you didn't see that video where we just took all the catfish and the goby out and put them in the stock tank, check it out right now. Guys, this is covered with pebbles as a substrate. Substrate for turtles, pebbles, not a good idea. So we're gonna repurpose this, clean it out, and we're gonna put sand on the bottom like we have with uh, Fred and all the guys downstairs. It's gonna look beautiful. Normally I would take this, bring it outside, just dump the rocks out into the woods. Don't feel like carrying this out there today. Instead, we're gonna try our trusty shop vac. Let's see if it works. All right guys, so we got the tank down in the basement. As you can see, we got all the rocks out. Uh, we are down here, and guys, don't forget, this is a basement, we are always rescuing, so, you know, we don't always get to fix up everything, but it is a work in progress, but we're down here with everybody else, including the big turtles right next to us. Don't make a sound, 2 a.m. low, gotta keep it down, don't wait around for a signal now. With that being said, one of the things that we are doing that we did very similar to Fred and Kazoo's setup, we got a big thing of pool filter sand. This is awesome for turtle enclosures. Um, some people still try and use the pebbles, guys. I really would try and avoid the pebbles. I would go with sand and the pool filter sand looks great, cleans up easily. I really like that. We are also going to still black out the back. We have just enough to do that. This is going to look awesome. We're going to get this bad boy filled with the sand, blacked out. Let's get some water. All right guys, so we got the tank all blacked out. Again, for that, we just used some contact paper that we got at Home Depot. It's cheap, it's great, we've used it on all the tanks. And like I made point to quickly earlier, we are definitely going to put some little decals back there like Tay's been doing on the other tanks. I love them, they look great. We got our pool filter sand. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this right in. Um, some people like to rinse this off. You really don't have to. All right, so the one other thing guys too, we have a 40 gallon filter that we took that was in this tank and it will do perfectly fine for right now. We are eventually gonna get a canister filter, but with this one, we're gonna make it a little bit of a DIY filter like we always do. We have all of our own media for it. So here's the filter itself. It's gonna hang right on the back somewhere. I think a little bit towards the corner here. We got bio balls, we got a sponge and we got some filter floss. Gonna put this all in there. It'll do great. It'll have everything but the chemical uh, filtration, which we don't typically use anyways. So that'll work good. And then we'll end up getting some sort of canister filter like we have for the big guys there. So um, already love the look of this with the sand here. I think the turtles are gonna love it. They haven't had anything yet for really substrate. I think when they were really tiny in the, didn't they have like rocks? Mm -hmm. They had rocks I think in their original one, but this will be awesome. So we're gonna get all the rocks set up we're gonna start filling it with some water. Hey, 
Comment down below. Do me a favor, guys. Uh, Crusher and Daisy are our favorites. If you guys have turtles out there, tell me the name of your turtle that's your favorite. Real quick, guys, in case you guys want to do this on your own, we're putting in the media here into our filter. So we put the bio balls first. That's the first layer. We got the sponge next. And then we have the um, filter floss, which I love this stuff, guys. We use this in like everything. And you're gonna put it so that when the water rises, it's gonna come through two different layers of filtration here for the end. Now the sponge and the bio balls will stay in there for pretty much ever. And uh, you know, we'll collect all the beneficial bacteria on it. The filter floss, you can reuse it, I would say once by rinsing it off. But after that, honestly, just throw it away and start over. You have enough stuff in there that will have plenty of beneficial bacteria that you won't ruin everything. And again, guys, turtles, not as crucial to the whole, um, the whole cycle as like fish are. They can get away with, with a little bit of, uh, I call them hiccups in their water table here. It's not as crucial. They're a lot more hardy than fish. We are slowly filling with water, guys. Getting pretty exciting here. So as you can see, this is where their new basking station is gonna be. It's only set up part way. We're gonna stack a few more, get it up nice, give them a little area where they can actually climb on to. If you didn't know this, with turtles, it's not really recommended to put dechlorinator in. So what we're gonna do, fill this, let it sit for 24 hours and naturally get rid of the chlorine. All right, guys, so it has been 24 hours. Things are looking good. All the chlorine should be out of here. As you can see, we set up their little basking station, kind of similar to what we did up there, but look at how much more water. I'm super excited because they're gonna have so much room in here. We got, let's turn the lights on, I haven't seen it yet. You guys ready? Let's check this out. Boom! I like that, that looks nice. So much room in here. I put a rock under there just to kind of divert some of the water here. It was making, as you can see, a big crater in there. Um, but the, the, we have the one heater in here. It has worked. This temperature is upwards of 78 degrees, which is more than enough. Look at them. They are so excited. They are like, please get us into our new place. I still can't get over the difference of how much bigger this one is. Daisy. Um, so guys, a couple of last things that we're going to do right before we, well, after we get them in. We are still thinking of putting up a decal on this. I'm pretty excited about that. We have some ideas. We're going to try and do that. But the biggest thing, guys, I need some ideas. Drop me some comments down below. We can definitely get some fish in here. What fish should we house with them? Now, we did have an idea, which you are going to see, actually. Let me put my two little decorations in here. So we're going to put this one in just to give them a little bit of cover if they want to go kind of in their cave. Look at that, can kind of sink right in the sand. Oh, that's nice and easy. Does that look good from that end? Mm -hmm. Can't see. All right, cool, then we got this little tiki guy. Look at, we'll put him right back here. Now, cool thing about this tiki, what we're gonna do with him, or what it's really, oh, it's gonna float away. Well, that looks pretty cool. So, what we are gonna do with him, so again, like I said, we need some ideas for fish, but we really wanna put some shrimp in here, just some little small shrimp, they will eat them, maybe they'll populate, we'll get a bunch of them, I don't know, but it will be really cool. And that can be kind of like a little hideout for the shrimp. So, I'm excited. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Should we put them in? Let's do it. Billings fam, let's get these guys in. Crusher and Daisy, are you excited? Let's go, guys. What do you think? Billings fam, we wanna go in. You ready? Should I put them on the rock or just put them in? On the rock. All right, let's put them on the rock. Since this is where your new home is gonna be when you wanna get some sun. Oh, he is in. Look it. Go ahead, Daisy. Oh, so awesome. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. They are checking everything out. They have so much room to swim, guys. This is gonna be this is gonna be really cool. So much room for activities. So much room for activities. What? Do you like guacamole? Yup. Very, very cool. So I can't wait to see this thing with uh, some fish in there. But guys, that's pretty much it. As you can see, um, you know, always, always, if you guys have turtles out there, always be making sure that they have enough room to grow. They were just outgrowing that tank. It was definitely time for this. But always make sure it's almost, you almost want it to be too big for them so that they can really grow and be comfortable. This is going to give them so much room. And look, we can see them so much better in here. They're not hidden. Um, one other thing I might do guys at some point, I might put just a very small light wave maker in here to keep the water moving just cause with this cave that we do upstairs, what was happening was uh, a lot of like junk was getting stored behind there. All the poop was going back there. So 
Um, I want to keep it moving so that the filter can work. Again, we are definitely going to get a better filter in here. This is just for temporary, but this is a lot of fun. What should we end with? Let's feed some big fish. Hey, Billings fam, you guys want to feed some monster fish? Let's feed Camo. Let's feed Thor and Loki. Now, Thor and Loki won't really interact with me out of my hand. They're just not used to it, but Camo might. I got some tilapia. Let's go grab that and let's feed some fish before we end. All right, guys, you ready to feed some fish here? We got some tilapia. Again, don't mind the color of the water. I'm in the middle of doing a water change in here. That's also why the water is low. Unfortunately, this log had a lot of tannins in it, so it's staying like this. But again, these guys are going outside soon in the pool pond. It's gonna be great. But uh, let's see if we can feed Camel here. Sometimes he'll, he'll let me feed him right out of my hand. Come here, bud. Right above you. Hello. Yeah, there it is. This is probably my coolest, the coolest fish in the world. I love this fish. I would like to have some more. That scares the crap out of me. I can't, they're not gonna come over and eat because they are scared of everything. But they will eat these once they see them. Uh, Inferno will not eat tilapia, but he will eat some other stuff, so we can throw him his. Is he eating? There he goes. Did he eat it? All right, one more for you. Come here. Come here, Cam. There you go. All right, guys, so pretty cool. <laughs> These guys are spazzing. Can't wait to get them outside. Can't wait to get the pool pond up. Um, hey, guys, we did a quick uh, give gift card giveaway last video. If you didn't get a chance to see it, you have a couple more days. Go check it out right now. Do what it says, and you can still enter. We will be picking the winner in the next video, so you will see that. Um, so this week's Good Vibes shout-out goes to J. Ro Ortego, and he said, I like the zombie, zombie quarantine zone sticker on the background. Uh, we like it too. Tay is extremely, extremely creative. I love all these background decals we've been doing. We're definitely going to keep doing more. I recommend it, guys. It really, it's cool. It spices up the tanks a little. Uh, but that's all we got, man. I think it's a really cool tank. I'm excited for Daisy and Crusher. I think they have an awesome, awesome environment now. And again, as they keep growing, we'll just keep doing more. As always, peace. Below. Look at this guy. He won't they always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Woo! Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.